So, so outside of the ring, let's talk about uh, what you do outside of the ring. You work for the sheriff's department, right? In St. Yes. Louis? Yep. I'm a St. Louis city deputy sheriff. How long have you been there for? I've been there for 22 years. Wow. So what made you want to work for them? Well, uh, to be honest with you, the, you know, the territories, they was, they was gone by then. So I'm like, well, you know, I, I better get my job and, and, and get, get invested into something before it was too late. Uh, but I, you know, I can still, I can still wrestle. I can still do this, you know. But when I came with the sheriff department, I wasn't doing a whole lot of work at that time because I was just getting new to this job, to the demands of the job. Because you know, as they say, I, I, I had a for real job with benefits. Yeah. Of course, if you're a wrestler, and I'm, and I'm gonna bring this up very, just very important to, to bring to the people that if you want to get into this business and think you're gonna get rich and think somebody's gonna pay for your health insurance. You better get out before you get started because it's not like that. You're responsible for paying for your training. You're responsible for everything that you do. So if you're not ready to accept those terms, get out real quick because what you see on TV is just a small portion of the hard work that you got to put into to get to that point. And so with, with working at the sheriff's department, I mean, you've had to deal, I'm sure, with some tough people in there too. Yes, yes. And um uh, when I go, man, you know, you, you'll be surprised how many people are learning every day that I'm a wrestler. Oh, wow. They, they, it's like, they, they say I never talk about it. I'm like, well, it's, it's, I'm just like a big kid having fun. I don't think it's a big deal. And, you know, every day somebody's like, man, you're a wrestler for real? I'm like, well, I don't actually give it to them like that. I'm like, well, they say I am, but I don't know. I got to I gotta have fun with them before I smarten them up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, mm -hmm. just be a friendly guy. Uh, I mean, have you, I mean, I'm sure you've dealt with a lot of, of you know, you know, rough people. Yeah. And so, tell me about that. Tell me about some of those, any stories you've run into people that have kind of, you know. Well, the, the, the thing about it is, man, I, I believe in when I when I go to work, when I have problems with guys, I, I want to try to reason with them. That's what I'm trying to say. So I have no other choice than to go hands, what we call hands on. But for the most part, which was and got me through my years of being able to communicate and talk with people and, you know, sometimes just letting them yell and scream to get it out. And then I try to kill them with kindness. But every now and then, uh, you know, I got to put put the hands on them. Of course, you got to write a report about this and that. But for the most part, though, uh, I really have no really, really bad stories. Uh, this and that. All my stories are, are real good stories in the sense of just going to work every day, coming home every day, staying healthy, going to the gym, training, and, and that type of stuff. 